Hi guys. I'm Angel from Draco Studios and in this video I am going to show you my workflow to prepare a piece for 3D resin printing. This is just one way to do it, there are many more out there, so I recommend you do more research and adapt to the one that is most of your style, and I hope this workflow is useful for you. I am excited because we have a little test of the miniatures for our war game. Dragon Bond Battles of Balerna. So I'll show you a quick and easy workflow to print your resin miniatures in a few minutes. The first thing to do is download and install the Prusa Slicer software, with which we will be able to put in supports automatically. Once the software is installed, we open it, and if it asks us to set a printer please choose the original Pusa SL1. And drag our STL file to the build plate. We can also import it from the software going to the file menu. Import, import STL slash OBJ. Once the software loaded the model, we right click on the model, and click on optimize orientation. Now the software will calculate the optimal orientation that the model should have for a better printing. Usually, the model must be rotated 35 degrees. I choose the self orientation tool, because it has not given me a problem with my prints. But you can do a manual orientation if you wish. Once the software finishes processing the optimal orientation, we must go to the last button our left side toolbar. The one with the hexagon with supports. In the dialog that opens, we lower the density of the supports percentage. To optimize the amount of resin used and try to minimize the marks left on the piece when removing the supports. I usually leave it at 75% for solid pieces, and between 43 and 52% for hollow pieces. Once the density of the supports is adjusted, we click on the button, Auto Generate Points and the software will automatically add the supports that it deems necessary for the correct printing of the piece. With the button manual editing. We can add new supports, move the already placed ones, or delete them. Everything to be able to edit them as desired. There is an additional step here with other software to validate which islands could be left without supports. And make a much better overall supporting job. But we will leave that video for another time. Since without the validator most of my pieces have gone very well. Here's a tip. Search for parts of the model that aren't supported that much and that seem very likely to collapse. Add some new supports and your print should be okay. To export the supported model. We go to the file menu. Export, export plate as STL including supports. And select the location to save it on our hard drive. Leaving our pre-supported STL ready to be opened in your 3D printer slicer software. I'm going to open Kitubox, drag my pre-supported STL. Adjust it to my build plate and press the slice button. Save the file and that's it, I already have my piece ready to print. I found this workflow very easy, fast, but the most important perk is that is reliable. And also once the miniature is printed. The supports can be removed by pulling out gently. It is preferable to remove the supports in a container with hot water. So that it is even easier to remove them and avoid leaving marks on our pieces. That's it for today guys. If you liked the video and the information was useful, share it with someone so that they can improve their 3D printing workflow. If you would like to see a video on how I make my pieces hollow, or the photon validator, write it in the comments.